climate change is the biggest problem facing polar bears. And as sea ice has diminished over the last three decades, we're seeing a very marked response in polar bear populations. Bears are suffering because of loss of sea ice. The study that I'm doing out of BYU is looking at the potential interaction of bears and people. I go up to Alaska in the wintertime and, and monitor maternal polar bear dens. When you're dealing with a white animal in a white landscape buried inside of a cave, um, you have an obvious problem of finding these animals. When we first start out, we go up there and we, we find the dens with forward-looking right, infrared. There she is. I can see her moving. Do you see the two ears and the nose looking at us? Oh, you can yeah. see her. Oh, she's, she's, there she is. She's, the she's looking out. <laughs> and we go and we set up these kind of self-contained camera units, and they just film the bears 24-7. At their den sites, some of them have a meter of snow over them. They're so powerful, they just arch against the roof and they'll shove a, a meter thick block of snow up in the air. You'll see it come up and then it'll tip over and their head comes out like a periscope on a submarine. When they first come out, the mothers will groom. They rub all around on their backs like a dog and they wriggle and they're, they're cleaning their fur on the snow. And the little cubs will roly poly play around on the ground. The mothers just sit there and scan the uh, terrain. There's a couple times where they've noticed our cameras. This past year we had one where they just kind of came up and, and sniffed it and we got a nice close-up of the cub's face. When the bears abandon the den, we'll crawl in and take measurements and just um, kind of see, you know, what a polar bear den is and it gives us a better idea of, of what they're doing in there. Talk to the folks back home, what's the bear den like? It's got an odor to it. Oh, is that the first noticeable thing? Yeah, it's got some, uh, some good scratch marks back here. <laughs> Well, the benefit of this kind of long-term ongoing study is we can see how their behavior changes uh, over time as the sea ice changes. We see bears moving off of sea ice, coming onto terrestrial areas in order to have their cubs. And so now we have more humans than ever, more bears than ever, all jammed in the same zone. So we're kind of in there trying to sort it out to let them have their lives as undisturbed as possible. I go up and speak on behalf of Polar Bear International. Nobody's predicting they'll go extinct. What they are saying is that their overall numbers will be diminished. Sea ice is uh, it's a physical relationship with the planet's temperature, and if we can reduce CO2, we'll see a corresponding response in the sea ice. There's no question that we can do things to lessen our individual impact on the planet. Whether polar bears are at stake or not, this has always been good counsel.